Welcome to Comcast, home of Xfinity. So this is our thirtieth phone call. For more information, our 30th phone call to Comcast. Okay? And we've spent four hours just trying to call Comcast. Four hours and 30 phone calls. I have the numbers of your street address as one, two, four, seven. Is this the account you're calling about? Yes. Okay. Give me a few seconds to review your account. Okay, four hours and 30 phone calls, and you're going to see how difficult it is calling Comcast because their phone systems don't work. And Comcast will calling? not... Okay, let me check to see if you have any equipment to activate on your account. No. I see you have equipment to activate. You're... No, we don't. Operator. Okay. No problem. To activate your gateway, just download the Xfinity X5 mobile app from the App Store or Google Play whenever Stop. you're ready. To get to these apps Stop. Easily, you can go to Xfinity.com slash apps. Okay, so we don't have any equipment to activate. All we're trying to do is talk to a customer service rep. But after four hours and 30 plus phone calls, we still can't talk to a service rep. It doesn't matter what we do. It doesn't matter what we say. Their fucking shit garbage fucking system is complete crap. And four fucking hours, I can't even talk to a fucking service rep at fucking Comcast. Because their system is that fucked up. Operator. Operator. Hello, thank you for calling Xfinity. This is Joe. May I have a first and last name, please? Hi, are you an American? Uh, no, but I'm like... Uh, okay, so you're not an American and you're not in America, right? Yes. Okay, can I talk to an American? Actually, uh, sir, there is a great uh, chance that you will just be prompted to the random things. We are receiving random calls, so there's no chance that I can specifically transfer you to an American agent. Okay, but, well, uh, I just was... made 30 phone calls to Comcast and spent over four hours trying to call you guys. And this has been going on for over a year now. Okay, so I've made thousands of phone calls to Comcast over the past year, and I can't get anybody at Comcast to help me. Okay, I need to talk to an American. I made 30 phone calls today and just spent the past four hours trying to get through your bullshit phone system just to talk to an American representative, and it's impossible to do. Okay, I need an American. I need somebody to fix our account. So please let me talk to an American. Okay, uh, sir, uh, can you please let me know uh, what specific is your, uh, what uh, specific issue are you having there? Because, yes, just checking here and they can't, um... It's not something you can fix. It's not something you can fix. It's Comcast itself. Comcast is a broken fucking company. It's the worst company on the planet and it's completely fucking broken. Okay? A, for over a year... We can't get our fucking internet service to work. You guys were supposed to send us a cable modem that you didn't even have. You've been charging us for internet service for, what, uh, 400 MIPS or some shit? And we're getting 15 MIPS for over a year now? Okay? And then you told us that we needed to upgrade our service plan to a 400 MIPS package? 400 megabytes per second. And you know what? And you told us from day one that we can't get that speed without an upgraded cable modem. And then you know what? For over a year, you never sent us a cable modem. Okay? So we're paying for service that we're not receiving, and nobody at Comcast can fix it. Because you guys are too stupid. So for over 12 months, you can't fix the problem, and every time we call, all we hear is your bullshit COVID shit, that there's no fucking event, no one available due to COVID for the past fucking 10 months, and this has been going on ever since January, and December is when we, you made us upgrade our service. So it's over a year now that we just can't get this fixed. And there's nobody at Comcast that can fix it. You're still charging us for two cable modems. We don't have two cable modems. We've never had two cable modems. 
from day one, the day you installed service, you've been charging us for two cable modems for five years now. For five years, you've been charging us an extra $14 a month every month for a second cable modem that doesn't even exist. And we've been trying for five years just to get that fixed. And then you guys told me the last time we called, you admitted that Comcast is too stupid and there's nobody at Comcast that's even smart enough to fix it. And you said you had to send somebody out to the house to swap out the old modem for new modem. That took five years. Five years for you guys to get that done. That's how stupid and incompetent Comcast is. Five fucking years. But you told me, fuck, you guys don't have the modems. Okay, uh, sir, I'm documenting your concern here right on my end. So this time, let me pull up my account, your account here, and then refer you to our billing department. Because they can resolve this issue for you as long as you did not or use any two modems. You can tell them the concern right away. And they're going to fix the charges for you for the five years of extra charge for this... Uh, extra like ghosted modem that you are actually not using okay listen to me every single time i call you guys say the same shit and nothing gets fixed now that's just problem number one now the second problem is you've been charging me for 400 mips tier and i only get 10 to 15 mips maximum download speeds and you've been doing that for a couple years now okay and you never fix that problem and, this, and you said the reason you're, you're billing us, but the reason we can't get the speeds is because we didn't have the upgraded modem. And when we ask for the upgraded modem, you tell us for five years you can't get us an upgraded modem. So for five years, I'm paying for this high fucking tier speed, 400 MIPS, and I'm getting 15 MIPS down. So for five years, you couldn't fix that. this time let's first we saw the charge for this extra modem because that's a very long year for you having it's not just the modem it's the speeds you're charging me for a high tier 400 bits per second speeds okay and i'm getting like a ten dollar a month service that you're charging me a hundred dollars a month for every single month for five years because I can't get the speeds that you're selling me because you wouldn't fucking replace the damn modem. Okay, let me check over here. If you would like me, sir, I can actually process both for the uh, transfer you or for offer you to our building department or have the device equipment actually in your account. Well, what does that mean in English? I can process a device swap. That means that we'll be replacing the modem that you currently have there. Okay, listen to me. I don't need the modem replaced because literally two weeks ago, you guys just came and installed a brand new SB6 modem that I've been waiting five years for. It took five years for me to get this modem. But during the last phone call, they promised they were going to take care of everything. They said they needed to send somebody out to the house. They took our old modem. They gave us the new modem. And they were supposed to take everything off our account. So we don't have any extra modems or no bullshit on our account. All we're supposed to have is the one new modem. That it took you five years to get me. Okay? And they apologized and said that we're going to get credit back for the past five years. For the speed that we've been paying for that we haven't been receiving. Now, did we get that credit? No. And you're still charging us for a fucking additional modem that we don't even have. And you've been doing that for five years. Okay. Yes, I hear you on this shit. For the charges... When the tech came to the house, he said there's three modems on our account. And he doesn't even know why. He walked around the house, there's no three modems. He just said that their systems are really screwed up and nobody at Comcast knows what they're doing. Okay, well, sir, let me go ahead and pull up the account here. I would just be needing your first and last name. Well, the problem is I'm recording all this. Uh, you have the name on the account. 
Yes, how about your first, oh, just your first name, sir. And then... uh, it'd be Mark or Juliana. Mark, okay, Mark. And the problem is you're not going to fix anything because you guys never do. And then even if you transfer me to somebody in billing, we're just going to get disconnected like we always do. And I'm going to have to repeat this whole thing over and over again like I always do. And I made thousands of phone calls and nobody Comcast can get this fixed. Nobody. Not one single person. Because nobody speaks English. Nobody's from America. And there's nobody Comcast that cares. Nobody. Not one. All right, okay. So that's the reason why you cannot all be connected to the billing department, but let me find another method here and directly contact Listen to me, of course, you can't connect me to nothing. You can't connect me to a supervisor. You can't connect me to billing. You're not even in the right country. No, I'm going to find another method to directly connect you with the billing department because, yeah, you don't deserve to get another charge for the box that you are not using. For f Listen to me. You've already started cases. You can go back and look at all the existing cases. There's over a thousand cases in there. Every single time we create a new case and nobody ever fixes it or calls back. And we can't even speak to an American. And every time we call, you guys scratch your heads like silly little monkeys. Acting like it's the first time we've ever called. But the problem is you try to beat people down with your terrible fucking customer service, the worst customer service, and you know what? It takes four fucking hours to talk to a human being because of all your computer bullshit. When you call the number, it won't let you talk to anybody. It won't even let you talk to a representative. It knows just based on the phone number that you're calling from that you're already a Comcast a customer, so it sends you to all kinds of bullshit, and you got to press one for English, press two for this, press for three for this, and it tells you to go to the website for help, and it hangs up on you. And you'll spend four hours going through that bullshit just to talk to a representative. And the only way to talk to a human is to call from a different phone number that's not from your service address. Or you have to say that you're asking for new service. If you're a new customer, that's the only way to talk to a human. Comcast will only talk to you if you're a new customer. That's the only time they're interested in talking to you. Because once you're a customer, Comcast fucks you over. They hate you. And they treat you like real shit. Because you're a Comcast customer. And that's how bad Comcast is. I mean, it's the worst fucking company on the planet. And the co worst customer service on the planet. And it really fucking sucks. Not for one day. Not for one week. I mean, for years. But unfortunately, you guys are the only internet service provider. And there's only one. So it's a monopoly. So we have no choice. It's either we have to deal with Comcast or we have no internet. That's our only fucking choice. And that is an issue that needs to be dealt with by the federal government, and they need to shut Comcast down because there's no competition. So since there's no competition, I have to deal with your assholes just to get fucking internet. And it's the shittiest fucking internet, it's the slowest speeds, and it's the highest fucking prices on the planet, and the absolute worst customer service on the planet. And you can't even talk to an American. And you guys overbill us every single month. Check our bill. Every single month you overbill us. Which is illegal. Okay? It's fraud. Every month you guys engage in fraud. You steal my money, bill me for services that you're not providing, and it's fraud. Imagine if I went to a gas station and somebody gave me a dollar worth of water and charged me $30 for it. It's fraud. That's what you guys are doing. You're selling me fake internet that you're not giving me. You're selling me fake service. You're selling me a phone service that I don't even have. You're telling me I need a triple play. That I need Comcast phone service. I don't want Comcast phone service. I've never wanted it. I don't even have a phone. It's never even been activated. But you know what? For five years, you're charging me for Comcast phone service because you're telling me that's the only way I could get internet in my home is if I buy a Comcast triple play. I don't want a Comcast triple play. The only thing I need is fucking internet and TV, and I can't get that. But I have to pay for three services just so I could get fucking uh, a TV and fucking internet in my house.
Because you're telling me that's the only package you offer to existing customers. Because you gotta fuck me harder than you've been fucking me for the past five years. And every time it comes for renewal, you fuck me even harder. That's all you do is fuck me. For five years straight, I get so much fucking sex from Comcast. Every fucking day, you're just fucking my ass. Every day for five years straight. And fuck, if I, if I call you guys or even try to talk to you, if you even talk about it, you know, I can't talk to nobody. They send me overseas to fucking China, and I'm talking to somebody like you that doesn't even speak English, not even from America. I just want to talk to an American. How hard is it for me to talk to an American at Comcast? Hold on a second. Actually, Mark, I've got uh, two options here. First is to refer you with the ruling department for the charge of extra modem that you are not actually using for years now. And I can transfer you right away. I've successfully connected or contacted our building department. Or I can transfer you to the... Just, just explain to me why you need to transfer me and why you can't just fix it. Because you know what? There's no such thing as transfer me. Every time you guys say you're going to transfer me, you hang up on me. Every single time for five years, 3,000 plus phone calls, all you do is hang up on me every single time. You just tell me, every time I call, Comcast tells me they can't do nothing. They're a bunch of fucking idiots, no brains in their head, and nobody can fix nothing. They just have to transfer me to the other department. Every single time. Tell me why you can't just fix it. I've personally contacted the building department here, so this time you'll be speaking to an agent, to a human agent from the building department or from the technical activations team. But we have a fixed department with the internet motors. Okay, then why don't you reach out to them and tell them to fix it and do a conference call so you could still stay on this call. So all three of us can stay on this call and you can listen to what we go through. You can listen to the same bullshit that I go through every time I call. Okay, well, actually, you're not allowed to have that long three-way call. Okay, well, listen to me. We need to because you know what? These, co these phone conversations are supposed to be recorded, right? All this is supposed to be recorded for customer service, right? And the reason you transfer me is so, you know what? None of this is recorded. Because every time you transfer me, it gets disconnected and never gets recorded. And every phone call I make requires 3,000 phone calls because your bullshit transfer systems, nobody can do nothing. Every time you transfer me, I get disconnected. Nobody will answer the phone when I call back and nobody will fix shit because I can't even talk to an American. I assure this time, Mark, because I personally contacted the building department here and I've documented your concern, everything that you have told me. Okay, everybody's documented. Every time we call, everybody documented it. And you know what? Nobody's fixed it. That's the problem. There's not one single fucking person at Comcast that can fix anything. You guys scratch your heads like jackasses, like fucking idiots, and that's great that you documented. But who's going to fucking fix it? And there's not one single fucking person in all Comcast that can fix anything. That's the problem. You can't fix shit. You don't have a boss that can fix shit. You don't have a manager that can fix shit. And there's nobody at fucking Comcast that can fix shit. For five fucking years, it took five years just to get a cable modem. And fuck, I still can't get the, the previous three or four cable modems taken off the computer. And even the technician that came to the house couldn't do it. And he works for Comcast. And he spent an hour on the phone here at my house, an hour on the phone. And he couldn't get anybody at Comcast to help him. And he works for Comcast. That's how bad Comcast is. You guys really are the worst company on the planet. But that's why, shit, you're not even an American. that doesn't even work at Comcast. You're just somebody sitting in a fucking call center probably in China. So how are you going to get this fixed? First thing that we can fix here, Mark, is your credit for the extra charge of the... Okay, then put the fucking credit on there. Okay. So I'm going to contact the billing department, Mark, because they can give you this huge amount of credit. 
They're the only department that is allowed or can access the credits for you. Okay, but unfortunately, the billing department hasn't done shit in five years. I don't think there's anybody that actually works in the billing department. What's your name? It's Joe. How do you spell that in English? It's J O. J O. That's your name, J O. Yes. Do you have an employee ID number? Yeah. Can I have it? Hello. Yes, it's two six seven zero five seven. Two six seven zero five seven. Yes. And your name is Joe. Oh, yes, I. Yes, Mark. Okay. Do we have a case number for this? Hello. Do we have a case number? Um. No, because we have not done any of the. Um... So every time I call, you guys don't have the brains to create a case number. No, the, uh, the only thing that I can give you there is... I can't speak can. I need a case number. So the next time I call, they can reference this because every single time I call, there's never a case number and nobody can create a case. You guys can't even create a trouble ticket. And every single time I call, I have to go through this whole thing all over again and nobody seems to fix anything and there's nothing even in the computer. I need somebody to create a trouble ticket and create a case number and give me that case number so that way the next time I call, I can talk about this case number and they can pull this up. Okay. But there's nobody at Comcast that's even smart enough to do that. Okay, so this time, Mark, um, initially we're we'll going to fix for the extra charge for the modems that you are not uh, using. So just stay on the line, okay? Okay. I am currently contacting the billing department now. Okay, once again, this is Joe from the technical and activations team. Again, really do apologize for the inconvenience, Mark. So you'll be now uh, going to up uh, to the billing department. What does this mean in English? I mean, I'm going to refer you now to the billing department. I will let you guys come in contact with the department for you. So what this means is you're just going to transfer me to another department and hang up on me again, right? No, uh, but yeah, that would be an agent. Another agent for the billing mark. No worries. You will be speaking to a human and an agent. Okay, but every time you guys transfer me, it always hangs up and disks, it disconnects me. And it's the same bullshit every time I call. So how do I get this fixed? Okay, so this time... Okay, What country are you guys even in? Hello? What country are you guys in? We're located in the Philippines. Philippines, huh? Okay, well, I guess it's better than China. <sighs> so this time, Mark, I'm connecting you to the billing department, okay? I'm just telling you, when you transfer me, I'm going to get hung up on. And I'm going to have to go through this whole thing all over again. I've already done it thousands of times. Nobody seems to fix anything. So can you at least give me a trouble ticket? Can you at least give me a trouble ticket for this exact conversation? We can only create that if we're going to like repair connection first. I need you to just create a trouble ticket so at least I have something to reference for this. So that way they could go back and listen to this call. And they can pull up all this, and I don't have to repeat myself over and over and over again every time I single call. Because every single time I call, I have to repeat myself over and over again because you guys won't create a trouble ticket. And this issue never gets fixed. So for alteration, for alteration, Mark, can the document here have a documentation? Well, I don't understand stand why nobody can read the documentation because every time I call there's no documentation nothing ever gets done and nothing gets I'm fixed sure you can find it in the oh my god 
Why can't you just fix the problem? Five years, I've never seen a credit, I've never seen nothing, and you guys have never fixed anything. I don't understand why you guys can't just get this fixed. You don't have a manager there? Is there a manager that I can talk to? Is there a manager that can fix this? Okay, I'm going to endorse this until I'm having check. Are they an American? No, but our manager has worked for years in this um, industry, so she's going to take over you. Are they going to fix the problem and credit my account? They can start you for that for the other uh, connection, but again, for the credit, still they will be needing to connect with the billing department. So just in a moment, okay? I'm going to interrupt you with our supervisor. Okay, can't you just... Keep me on hold and reach out to the billing department and you call the billing department and you get this fixed. It doesn't make sense for you having to transfer me to different departments and then I have to re-explain all this over and over and over again and every single time you transfer me, all you do is hang up on me and nobody ever calls me back and I have to repeat this whole process over again and you guys never fix anything Nobody fixes nothing, nobody credits me nothing, and it's just a hoax. It's a lie and a hoax. Every time you guys say you're gonna transfer me somewhere, all you do is hang up on me. So why don't you just keep me on the phone, keep me on the phone, and you talk to Billing and get this fixed. And that way, you're not transferring me, and at least it's one phone call, and everything's recorded, and you can sit there and deal with your own Billing department and you can try to deal with Comcast, and you can try to deal with billing, and you can try to deal with your own Comcast employees, and you can get this fixed. That's all I'm asking. That way all this is recorded, and you can see how hard it is dealing with Comcast. Because nobody who works in Comcast even likes Comcast. Every single Comcast employee tells me how bad Comcast sucks. Even the people that come to the house to drop off a modem they can't get the old ones taken off the system because Comcast sucks. And even when they got to call Comcast, the idiots that answer from Comcast are stupid and they, they can't even fucking, the Comcast employee can't even deal with another Comcast employee because that's how stupid your whole system is and that's how bad everything is. Just, just fix it. So just put me on hold and fix it. You call Comcast billing, explain the situation, have them post a credit to my account. And then give me a trouble ticket number. Yes, um, what? I should connect into the building department. They will still ask me to hand you over to them. And then I have to start all over again with your fucking billing department, who's never done anything good and has never fixed anything. No, and but, okay, this time let me. And all the billing department is is the person sitting right next to you in the Philippines. And that's all it is. And it's, I'm going to be talking to the person that sits right next to you in the Philippines because you can't fix it. But the person right next to you is supposed to be the one that can fix it. And they don't do shit either. Because I just can't talk to an American. Because that's how bad Comcast sucks. And we're already a half hour in and you still haven't fixed shit. So I just want you to fix it. So you could see what it's like being a Comcast customer. Just fix it. You call the billing department, you get it fixed, and then come back online and tell me that it's been fixed. I just want you to get it fixed. So you can see what it's like being a Comcast customer. Okay, how about this one? Okay. I'm going to make sure that you'll be transferred to the building department and directly talk to an agent. So I'll stay on the line with you until you will be speaking to an agent with the building department. <laughs> but every time you transfer me, I get hung up on. You will be. I won't hang up unless you will be speaking with an agent, unless an agent is present over the next line. 
What's that mean in English? I mean, we're transferring you, so I'll be staying on the line with you until we can reach the agent from the drone department to give you assurance that you will not be transferred and uh, kept have this call put. Okay, and I want you to explain everything that I've already explained to you. Yes. So that way I don't have to speak, and I just want you to get this done. Because I don't want to have to explain this all over again to somebody else. I want you to get it done. Okay. Okay. Okay, now can I think of the billing department? Hello? Hello, Mark. Okay. Hmm. I love that great Comcast music. So relaxing and soothing. Makes me feel like everything's gonna be okay. Fucking Comcast. It's always a joy calling Comcast. And everything dealing with Comcast is just pure joy. This is fucking Comcastic. Now, if 18, if Comcast put this on their fucking commercials and everybody could see what dealing with Comcast is really like, and they played this over and over again on every commercial for Comcast, so people could really see what dealing with Comcast is like. But this is what happens when you have monopolies in America. When you only got one company, only one cable company that can provide broadband service, and there's no other broadband provider. You either get Comcast or you get nothing. It's your only fucking opportunity for broadband. And this is why we need carrier neutral networks where you could have any provider and they should open up, they should have to by law open up their networks so that way we could have any provider 
And we could choose from WoW or RCN. Yes, ma'am. Yep. This is Sam Belenike. I'm talking with our building department, and I'm uh, telling her his name. Her name is Isa, and I'm telling her uh, for your concern today. Okay, I'll be going back to the building department now. Just uh, stay on the line. You'll be put on hold for a minute. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Hmm. Mark? Yep. Yes, so over the line is Isa here, and he will gonna take you over for the credit now. Did you explain the whole problem? Did he credit my account and fix this yes. problem? Yes. Everything's so fixed? Charge for more than years now that actually you're not using that one. Is everything fixed? So she's, currently, she's currently checking your account here and the equipment on your account. Okay. Is everything fixed? She's still, she's still processing it. So yes, oh Mark, I'm not able to stay on the line this long. So as I've, uh, I've promised you, I'll be staying on the line with you until we get the agent from the billing department, okay? So I'll have to transfer the call now to her. So what's this mean in English? You're just gonna hang up on me again? No, uh, I'm going to uh, end this call between us, and now you'll be transferred to Isa. Okay, but every time you guys transfer me, I just get hung up on. Every single time. Well, I assure you that we have Isa here, okay? Okay, well, I'm just telling you, every time you transfer me, I get hung up on. And no, nobody fixes anything. Did you explain all the problems to Isa? Is she an American? Yes. She's an American? I've explained everything to her. And she's an American? I'm not certain with that more. I've just uh, talked to her, but no worries. She can take you over here. And Is she an American? Is she an American? I'm going to ask her, okay? Okay. Make sure she's an American and she's an American. Gotta love the outsourcing of call centers overseas. Nobody gives a shit about Americans and you can't talk to an American, you can't get shit fixed. Because nobody in China or the Philippines can do shit to fix nothing. Okay, so hello, Mark. Yep. Isa is not an American. She's not an American. She's not an American actually, either. Should... What okay. what country is she from? Okay. Once again, Mark, uh, you can actually use the to as Isa, but the thing that I can assure you here is she is currently processing, is processing now for the ticket number so that you can have a reversal on your account for the credit. Why is it so hard to talk to an American? Why why is there not a single American working at Comcast that I can talk to? Okay, I mean, it, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. It's a weekday. It's business hours. Why can't I just talk to an American? I've called 3,000 times, and I've never been able to talk to an American not even one time. Why? Why can't I talk to an American? Why is there not any one single American that works at Comcast that can answer the phone? Okay, I'm really sorry if I can directly transfer it to American, but again, the call are being transferred randomly, and we are receiving these calls randomly. 
then why don't they shut these con these call centers overseas down and have American call centers where we could talk to Americans? Americans that actually care about Comcast customers. Instead of this bullshit, and this is 3,000 calls, and I still can't get anything fixed because I can't talk to not even one American. Okay, well, thank you so much for raising that concern. On our meeting later with the team, I'm going to escalate that one directly with the Comcast, okay? Yeah, you're going to send it to the person sitting next to you in the Philippines and let them know that, hey, there's another pissed off American that hates talking to overseas support and we just want to talk to an American and then you guys laugh. Mm -hmm. And nothing yes, gets fixed. I'll have that one escalated with our team meeting. Okay, great. Okay, thank you so much. So yes, Mark, I'll be handling you over with me to our Eva here. I just want to talk to an American and get this, get this fixed. Um, hello? I want to talk, I just want to talk to an American that can get this fixed. I just want this to get fixed and I want to talk to an American that can fix this. I want to talk to an American, somebody from America. The United States of America. Hello sir, yeah this is Issa from the Beverly Department. And I uh, here as from a colleague here who asked me to uh, provide you here the credit for the modem charges under your account. What I did here, sir, is I have backdated those charges and I created and disputed that one. I created a ticket for it. So on the following day, sir, all those charges for the unreturned equipment will be reversed for you. And when's that going to happen? Um, I have your sort of ticket number, and right now it's on a process, so just provide us a week for this one. Okay, but every single time I call, nothing ever gets done. Do I have a ticket number for this, for this issue? Yes, yeah, sir. Yes. What? Um, are you ready for this one, sir? Yes. Yeah, it's CR. CR. I'm sorry, sir. Go, go real slow. CR. CR925. Okay, can you repeat that back to me one more time? CR? Mm -hmm. CR 9256408838. Okay. And, yes. uh, and when will this credit appear on my account? Since I have just created this ticket and disputed this just as of today, um, this will be credited, credited back to your account after our system has checked it. So just provide us like a week for this. So what's that mean in English? I'm all of us, sir. So what, do, what does that mean in English? This is this, I'm going to get in a, a credit in one week is what you're telling me in English? Yes, sir. So as for that, what we're going to do is as I have mentioned, we have just disputed that today. So um, the credit will be provided to you um, within this week. Within a week. Within a week, I'll get the credit, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, I've done this well over 3,000 times already, and I've never gotten any credit my entire life. Okay, so I don't understand why you guys make this process so hard. And why you guys can't just credit my account and why every single time I call you put me through the same bullshit and I got to call over 3,000 times and go in a circle and then you guys never do anything and I spend hours and hours and hours dealing with you guys nothing gets fixed and then you guys just tell me that I got to wait a week hold my breath and maybe some magic's gonna happen and nothing ever happens and nothing ever gets fixed so that's where we're at and that's what happens every single time I call Comcast Why do you guys make this process so difficult? Why can't you just credit my account? Well, because, sir, um, as for the amount here under your account for the unreturned equipment, there is a process for that. So we need first to verify, sir, if we have already received the equipment on our end, like on the UPS store or through the mail or from a technician. And then after we have verified it, that's the time that we are going to backdate any amount that has been um, charged into your account. 
Okay, A, I've never received any equipment, okay? No equipment's ever been activated on my account. You can see that, okay? B, you've been charging me for equipment, and you know what, what does a fucking $50 cable modem cost? 50 bucks? And you've already charged me hundreds or even thousands of dollars for that $50 fucking cable modem that I've never had. And you still keep charging me every fucking month for five years. And I've called over 3,000 times just to get this fixed and taken off my account, and you still can't do it. You guys have conducted thousands of investigations, and you've never done shit. All you do is keep charging my fucking account every single month. And that's what it's like dealing with Comcast. So I don't want any more fucking investigations. I don't want shit. I want you to fix this. Not a week from now. Not tomorrow. Now. Right now. Fix it now. If you didn't fix it five years ago, you're not going to fix it next week. Fix it right now. I'm on the phone. Fix it. We're not doing any more investigations. We're not fucking calling the post office. We're not waiting five more years. We're doing it right now. Today. Get it fixed. I want to talk to an American. Don't worry, sir. I can go ahead and provide you your request. Okay, I need to talk to an American. Not five more years. Now. It needs to be fixed. Now. An American. That speaks English. An American. It shouldn't take 3,000 fucking phone calls in five years to get something simple fixed. This is absurd. Just the amount of money a Comcast is paying you dumb assholes to answer the phone costs far more than any silly fucking cable modem. But you guys are still fucking billing me for it every fucking month. Conveniently. It's called fraud. Stop charging me for shit that I don't have, that I've never seen, that you've never given me. Just like when I'm getting 15 MIPS internet service, but you're charging me for 400 MIPS. Every fucking month. For five years. Because that's how ridiculous fucking Comcast is. And you can't get shit fixed. Nobody can fix anything at Comcast. Let me talk to somebody that can get this fixed today, right now. Anybody there? Yes, sir. I'm listening. Can you repeat what I just said? Because um, I'm not allowed to speak profanity languages. Okay, so you can't repeat that I just asked you to fucking get this fixed right now, today? Oh, do we understand, sir? Um, I know that you've been frustrated with all this processor, and um, I'm actually trying my best to um, have this one attended. So um, I'm just not. Um, Speaking here on the other line, sir, because I know that you're quite frustrated for this, and I'm just listening to you. And you're not capable of fixing this problem. You can't credit my account. You can't do anything. Just like the last person. Correct? Because you're not an American, and you're not in America, and you can't fix nothing. Oh, so, I'm um, sure um, if you keep on um, shouting at me and insulting me, I want to talk to an American. I want to talk to an American. If you would like to, sir, I can provide you their direct number. <laughs> there is no direct number. The same number you give me is the same number I called. I just want to talk to an American. No, sir. Um, this is... Connect me to an American. Connect me to an American. As you will um, know, sir, um, I'm not from America. So if I'm going to transfer you to a different department, you will be routed on the same person or the same kind. Okay, so then, put, 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 you, then sir, put me on hold. Put me on hold and connect me to an American. 
No, 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 no. I don't want any more numbers. Connect me to an American. I'm sure as what I have mentioned to you, our area here is would be the same. I understand. You're in the Philippines, but connect me to an American. I'm sure I cannot. I don't have any um, option here to provide you directly to that. Okay, listen to me. I've called 3,000 times. I don't understand why I can't talk to a single American. And why you guys can't even connect me to an American? Is there nobody from America that works at Comcast? 3,000 calls and I can't talk to one single American? Why is this so hard? Why can't I talk to an American? Why can't I have somebody just fix my problems? There's nobody in the Philippines that can do anything. So why can't I talk to an American? Okay, then connect me to an American. No, sir. As I have mentioned to you, I cannot directly route you to that. Okay, well, me, me calling back doesn't do anything, and it doesn't connect me to any Americans, and no numbers that you guys have given me, they all come right back to the same bullshit, and I, I right back in the same fucking call center in the Philippines or China, and I can't talk to any Americans. So just connect me to an American. Going to, um, Let me talk to an American. I'm going to just Let me talk to an American. Let me talk to your supervisor. Is he American? Is your supervisor an American? Is your supervisor American? Do you have a manager? A supervisor? Are they American? Um, no, sir. Okay, so your supervisor's not an American? No, sir. Okay, do you, do you have a manager above him? Is he an American? No, sir. Is there anybody that's an American that I could talk to? Um, no, sir. This is awesome. This is why I love Comcast. Um, how can I talk to somebody in America since I'm an American and I just want to talk to somebody in America? You have no way of transferring an American? My call got routed all the way to the Philippines to talk to you and you can't transfer me back to the United States during business hours? It's only 10.30 a.m. I've been on the phone for over an hour since 9.30 a.m. And every day I spend at least eight hours on the phone with you guys doing thousands of phone calls and I can't talk to an American. Ever. I respect you with that one, sir. Just provide me a minute, sir. Let me go ahead and check out how much option we can have here for you. What does that mean in English? I'm speaking English, sir. Okay, well, I'm not understanding it. That's not English that I can understand. Can you repeat it? Sir, you're insulting me quite multiple times already. And, Wait. um, you know, you've been... What's that mean? Languages. Slow down, slow down. Uh, sir, I'm going to disconnect this. Slow call. down and speak yes, English. Um, no, sir. I'm, no, sir. I'm doing my work here, sir, and you keep on... I want to talk to an American, somebody that I can understand. I want to talk to an American. I respect that one, sir. Okay, then just connect me. Don't respect it, but just connect me. Connect me to an American. Sir, I have already met, provided you all the information needed. Okay, you haven't provided me any information. You haven't fixed anything. I'm asking to talk to an American. I'm already an hour in on this phone call, and all I'm asking is to talk to an American. That's it. I'm just asking to talk to an American. Over an hour, and I still can't talk to one single American. Just connect me to somebody in America. I just want to talk to an American. Listen, don't. I don't want any more numbers. Every single number I call routes me to the fucking China or the Philippines or Malaysia or wherever the fuck you're sending me. I just want to talk to somebody in America. You guys can't even forward me to somebody in America. All I'm asking you to do is fucking call somebody in America 
connect me to him. Here, as much as they wanted to, we don't have any option to direct um, Lee contact them from here. So as an American, how in the hell do I get this fixed? In five years, I can't talk to a single American. You don't think this is crazy? In five years that I can't talk to an American? And nobody in the Philippines can do anything or fix anything. Is this what you guys call great Comcast service? Sir, I have just provided resolution for your problem, sir. Oh, that was the resolution. I see. Yes, sir. Awesome. talk with um, someone from America, sir, what you can do is you can go directly to our security stores and contact with them. Do what? Because they already have your information wait, and wait, account number. Wait, wait, do what? Go to our security stores, sir. They're on your area. The stores are closed due to COVID-19. They've been closed for almost a year now. Here, sir, there are UPS stores open. A UPS store? How is a UPS store going to fix me with, with my Comcast problem? Well, sir, they might have information with your modem. A UPS store is going to fix my Comcast account. No, sir. What I mean is, you can um, go to them here and then provide them the information that you wanted to talk with American representatives. They can provide you with a direct number. A UPS store. I'm going to go to a UPS store and they're going to fix my problems with my Comcast. No, sir. Um, we have already provided a resolution here for your problem. We are just asking you, um, you know, short time here to do, um, for, to let us do the work so that we can fix this problem of yours. What? I'm just asking to talk to an American. You haven't provided me with anything. You're telling me to go to a UPS store if I want to talk to an American. No, that sir, doesn't fix any of my Comcast problems. I just need to talk to an American and get a credit on my account. I shouldn't have to go to the UPS store to get a credit on my Comcast account because I don't think it, you, anybody at UPS can fin, fix my Comcast account. I don't think anybody in the Philippines can do it either, but I just want to talk to an American that can fix this account. And I don't think going to the UPS store is going to fix it. Okay, let me just talk to an American, please. Sir, as what I have mentioned to you again and again, I don't have a direct contact to them. There's nobody in America that you can contact at Comcast. I can't talk to a single person from America. It would be random, sir. <laughs> random. So m my luck must be really bad. Three th over 3,000 calls and every single one of them's going to fucking China and the Philippines. That's what you guys are calling random? Over an hour I've been on the phone? Just this one call? It's already 10, 10.37 a.m. in the morning and I can't talk to anybody in America. What time is it in the Philippines? What are you guys even doing awake? I'm sure we are doing our job, and right now it's 11.37 p.m. here. It's 11.37 p.m., and you're answering my phone call, and I'm in America at 10.37 a.m., and I just want to talk to an American. Why are these calls getting routed to the Philippines, and why am I not getting routed to an American call center here in America? Wow. 
Wow. Can you please just connect me to an American? Sir, I'm trying to provide you their number. Okay, that doesn't do anything. It just rings back. It rings right back to the same system. And I keep going around and around in circles. And there's nothing I can do. It just connects me I to fucking... Number, sir. Sir, which number that I'm going to provide you? <laughs> okay, listen to me. Why don't you just put me on hold and you dial that number and connect me to it? I cannot do that, sir. Okay, so then how did somebody connect okay. me to you? How did somebody connect me to you? Sir, as I have mentioned to you, um, your calls is really random. What? Why is my call random? I'm just trying to talk to an American. Oh my How did the last person connect me to you? And you tell me you can't connect me to an American? You can't dial a number and connect me to an American. You can't forward me to an American extension or anybody in America. No, sir. Oh my God. Because what number I have here, sir, is the only one that is being provided by the system. So okay. if I'm going to dial it, it would really be dependent on who whose line is we are going to um, to have. So well, Comcast only gives us one number, and I've tried all the numbers that you guys have given me every time I call and ask to talk to an American, and it just takes me right back to the same call center, and all I'm doing is going in circles, and it just keeps connecting me to the same call center. And I, every single time I'm talking to somebody in Asia, China, Malaysia, Indonesia, whatever, Philippines, I don't know, but every single time I call, it's Asia and I can't talk to a single American. So why can't you just connect me to an American? Don't you guys have somebody on Messenger or something that you can reach out to or send an email no, to? They can just... to do with their social media. <laughs> So you're telling me you can't even talk to somebody from America that works for Comcast? No, sir. Wow. Wow. So I guess you can understand what it's like being a Comcast customer that can't even talk to anybody from Comcast. I mean, heck, you can't even contact Comcast. Comcast. Um, however, sir, you keep on insulting us. And even though we have provided you with a resolution there, um, you wouldn't even accept it. So I'm trying my best. The resolution, to the resolution, different. listen to me. My problem is I need it fixed. I spent over an hour on the phone between two different Comcast representatives and neither one of you can fix anything. That's not a resolution. That's not a resolution. I spent over an hour and neither one of you, twiddly D and twiddly dumb, can't fix anything. How many people do you have to forward me to to get this fixed? And I'm asking just to talk to an American. And you're telling me between the two of you that nobody can forward me to an American. I want to talk to an American. I want to talk to an American. Let me talk to your supervisor. Let me talk to your supervisor. Let me talk to your supervisor. Me to your supervisor. Fucking shit hung up on me again. Awesome. Comcastic. The joys of Comcast. They just fucking hang up on you over and over again, and that eh, just is what it is. That's Comcast. Comcast awesome fucking support. Oh, fuck. But that's it. An hour and whatever it was, an hour and five minutes in, and then they just hang up on you, and you have to call back and deal with it over and over again, and that's what it's like dealing with Comcast. Nothing gets fixed, nothing gets resolved. They just send you to the Philippines for an hour at a time, bounce you between customer service reps, and it'll take 3,000 plus calls in five fucking years, and you still ain't gonna get shit fixed because that's Comcast. 
It's fucking Comcastic. That's Comcast. And it doesn't matter how many times you fucking try to write Comcast, they don't give you any support as an American. You can't talk to a single fucking American Comcast. They don't exist. But that's Comcast. They don't hire Americans. They don't employ Americans. We don't have any call centers in America, and you can't talk to anybody from America. 3,000 calls. Haven't been able to talk to a single American. And even when the people in the Philippines, they can't connect to an American and they can't even talk to an American. That's Comcast for you. Now you can see exactly what we deal with as an American trying to call Comcast. Just trying to get our bill fixed. Five years we can't get our bill fixed. And that's the Comcast billing department. Customer service reps can't do anything because they're not American. The billing reps can't do anything because they're not American and there's not a single American that can ever answer the phone in five years and fix a simple issue. So for five years, you could build for things that you're not even receiving or don't even have and you can't even disconnect it. For five years, they just keep billing you, keep taking your money and you have to pay or they'll put it on your credit report. You know, you can't get anything fixed. They're just idiots. This is Comcast, the real Comcast. But, uh, yeah, this is what it's like being an American and having to deal with Comcast. And we only got one internet service provider, Comcast, and that's it. That's our only broadband internet service provider, and this is what you have to deal with. This is the customer service that we received for the past five years, and it's been this way forever. I mean, hell, even between my other address, 20, almost 30 years now, this is what it's like dealing with Comcast. Oh, thanks, Comcast. You're awesome. <laughs> Fucking Comcastic.